Okay, so this is a three times um, what an octo can do, UAD octo can do, um, running while recording at 96 kilohertz. Actually, three times what an octo can do on uh, 44.1. Instead, I'm on HD native um, on 96 kilohertz, 32 bit floating points at the lowest buffer, uh, which is 64 samples and I'm recording all of these 128 tracks that each have three of these plugins on them. Uh, one of them would be enough to max out uh, an octo card, a UAD, a UAD octo card. Um, so this is three times that. So this is three maxed out octo cards running on native. Um, these are exactly the same plugins. They know um, this has been tested. Um, you can see the system is struggling a bit. Um, but it's working, it's recording, it's still reasonably responsive, it's, uh, you know, uh, it's not perfect. Um, but this is a ridiculous amount of processing if you want to track with the uh, three maxed out octos worth of plugins. Um, uh, often, then by all means, uh, get three octos, is that what you want? Oh, see, there was a, there's a little peak at 100. Um, but it's still running for some reason. Um, well, I'm going to stop it now. This is crazy. This is crazy. I'm going to stop playback now. You can see that, hang on, you can see that it's at 64 samples. Um, you can also see if I go to, hello, if I go to setup, I always forget where that is, window, session setup. Okay. You can see uh, it's 96 kilohertz, 32 bit floating point. There you go. That's working. So if I now go, if I know, if I would sort of up the buffer one step, create a little bit of extra headroom, see what that does. That will do better. Mind you, three times what an octo could do on 44.1 kilohertz, but now on 96 kilohertz running totally natively, 96 kilohertz. Um, 128 buffer, which with Slate system would probably still uh, be under two milliseconds of latency. And you, you see these peaks here? This is about a third of what it could do. And the peaks no longer exceed 50%. So thus it is proved, in my opinion, um, that UAD should just fucking port it to, um, to native so, uh, that like HDX users, you, you, people can just decide on when to run things on their DSP and when to run things natively because there's, you know, both of these situations are valid. Um, but, um, I think UAD are painting themselves into a corner or have painted themselves into a corner by staying DSP only, because um, I don't really see how that platform can um, avoid being completely outrun uh, by native. Um, certainly now that IO native is um, starting to match um, DSP based systems in terms of latency. Um, there you have it. Here we go. This is running fine. Crazy. See you later.